In this video, we are going to understand how to send custom card message on Google Chat for new Jira issues created. So here my objective is every time an issue is created in Jira software in any particular project, then automatically a notification, a message along with a custom card should be sent to my team sitting on Google Chat. Now how can that be done? For this, I will be integrating these two applications using Public Connect. So here my trigger application will be Jira software and my action application will be Google Chat. Now to understand how you can do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process, let me take you to my screen. In this video, we are going to understand how every time an issue is created in any of the projects in Jira software, then how automatically a notification about the issue created can be shared with the team on Google Chats along with a custom card that you can create. Now to do this, we'll have to set up some integration between Jira software and Google Chats. And we are going to do the same using Public Connect. To understand how, let's start. So here is the dashboard of Public Connect software. You can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the description box. If you are the new user, you can sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And if you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. Once you do that and you reach the dashboard, now on the right hand side, there's a tab, Create Workflow. Let's click on this. As we do that, a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here you can give any random name. So here I have pasted the name of my workflow which is to send custom card message on Google Chat for new Jira issues created. Let's click on create. As we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this, when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Now, to understand this, let's take an example. The moment you swipe your card and payment is captured, then automatically a notification is received on SMS or WhatsApp. So here, your trigger will be a payment gateway like Razor, Pay, Insta Mojo, and your action application will be WhatsApp, like Wati or Interact. Now, as per our use case, here our trigger application will be Jira software. Let's click on this. And then our action application here will be Google Chat. Okay. So these are the two applications that we are supposed to integrate for this use case. And we are going to do the same using Public Connect software. So first of all, here we have to select the trigger event. Now trigger event is the event that is going to make your workflow run. And here it will be configure webhooks. As we do that here, you can see we have received a webhook URL. Now this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge for connecting Jira software and Pabli Connect so that Pabli Connect can have access to the information. Now I'm going to copy this. Once done, here we have the help text. Please read this carefully so that you can set up the connection. Now let me show you exactly what you have to do. I already have logged into my Jira software account. Here we can see that these are the projects that I already have created. Now let's say that I want that every time an issue is created in demo service project, then a notification should be sent to my team on Google chat. So here, first of all, I'm going to integrate. For this, let's go to settings. Then we have to go to system. As we do that, on the right hand side, there's a panel. As we scroll down, we have the tab advanced. Within this, we have webhooks. Let's click on this. And now here on the right hand side, there's a tab create a webhook. Let's click on this. And here we have to name our webhook. So I have written Jira Google Chat integration. What is the status? Enabled. Now this webhook URL that we had copied, I'm going to paste this over here. So done. Next is description. So if you wish to add any description, you can always do that. Then we have issue related events. Now here you can specify a JQL query to send only events triggered by matching issues, which means that if you want that every time an issue is created in any of the projects, then you do not have to mention the JQL query here. But if you want that every time a specific issue is created in a specific project, then here you have to mention the JQL query. And how you can do that for that, let me take you to Public Connect. Here in the help text, you can see it is written 
written that whenever you want to specify the jql query this is how you have to mention the query so i'm going to copy this go back to jira software and here i'm going to paste the same now what is the name of the project that we have selected so it is demo service project okay then we have the issue type so i'm going to delete this now what is the issue type so here you can see these are the various issues so let's say that i want to select service request so i have selected this next what is the event the event is issue created then if you have users related events you can select this similarly jira configuration related events project related events jira software related events now what i'm going to do is i'm directly going to go down and click on create as we do that, we can see webhook Jira Google Chat integration has been successfully created. Now, once this is created, let me take you back to Pabli Connect. Okay, so here it is waiting for webhook response, which means that once we have added the webhook URL, we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now here I'm going to go here. Let's click on create. And here we are creating an issue. So here we have to select the project. So this is demo service project. Then we have the issue type. So here I'm going to select service request. Once this is done. So here we have email request. Request to receive from your email support channel. So you wish you can add this. Then as I take you down here, you have to raise this request on behalf of. So here we have got all the people associated. And let's say that I want this request to be raised on behalf of admins Rao. Next, we have to select the subject. So here I'm going to write test integration. So when you are creating a real time issue, you can always name it accordingly. Then comes the body, basically the description. So here I'm going to write test description to check integration. Okay, so this here I have written the body. Now here, if you wish to change the text style, you can do this. And then if you wish to add any link, here is the option. You can add images, videos or files. Here you can mention people, emojis, etc. Then if you wish to select the organization, you can do the same. Now I'm going to click on create. So as we do that here, you can see that the issue has been created. The name is desk 38 issue. This is the issue key. And here you can see this here is your new issue that has been created. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here you can see that we have received the response. Let's check the response once. So here, first of all, we have received the event, which is Jira issue created. Then again, as I take you down here is the name of the person to whom this particular task has been assigned. Then let's go down. So here is the issue key. This is the issue ID. Then again, here we have the summary. Basically, this was the subject. And then what is the category name? It is in process, waiting for support. And then again, as I take you down. So here is the name of the project. This is the project key. This is the project ID. This here is the issue type, which is service request. And here we have got the description. Now, once we have received this information, I want to share the same with my team on Google Chat with a custom card message. So here I'm going to select the action event as create custom card message. Let's click on connect. So I already have logged into my chat hangout account and the connection is all set. Now, once this is done, here we have to paste the chat webhook URL. To do this, first you have to create a space. I already have created one. The name is test space. Then here we have a drop down. Let's click on this. You can see apps and integrations. Click on this. A dialog box has appeared and here we have got manage webhooks. Let's click on this. Now here I'm going to name this webhook. So it is a test webhook. One, two, three. As I click on save, here you can see that we have received the webhook URL. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste the same here. Okay, then we have got the header title. So here I am going to mention the summary. Basically, this here was the name, the header title. Next, we have the header subtitle. So let's say that I want to add the issue key. 
so which is desk 38 okay then we have the header image url so if you have any image to be added you can add the url here now here this method with which i have added the previous information is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration let's say that i had written the same information manually then even when my workflow was running for the nth time it wouldn't have taken the new data instead it would have taken the same manually written data to avoid that we map the information next we have the header image type so if you have selected an image then here you can choose if you want it to be circular or square then we have the text now here we have to enter the text so i'm going to write team okay here we are going to enter a new issue has been created in now let's enter the name of the project for this i'm going to click on the previous step and look for project so as i take you down here is the name of the project next let's add the description okay so here i'm going to click on the previous step once again and and let's look for the description so here we have the description okay next i'm going to write assigned to so this has been assigned to let's again go to the previous step and here i'm going to look for the person so we have got the name of the issue the project details and to the person it has been assigned to now once this is done what i'm going to do is here i'm going to write regards okay next comes the most interesting section which is custom section so here we can enter custom section json code that is actually the comma separated widgets now what are these widgets what are these cards to understand that please click on this link and as you will do that here you can see you can find all the information so as i scroll down you can see here that what is this json representation what is image type section here then what is a widget so a widget is each card is made up of widgets and then here you can represent text images buttons etc now i'm going to take you back to public connect and i already have created a json code so i'm going to paste the same here so this here is the json code that i have created now here we have entered the widget which is first the name of the person to whom it has been assigned to so here i'm going to delete this and i can always add the information from here so this is the name of the person so you can also add the information like this then we have added a button where the moment you click on that button it is going to redirect you to the login page of jira software account so here is the button now once this is all done so as i click on save and send test request so here you can see that we have received the response according to which now a message must be received by my team on google chat let's go and check the same and here you can see that we have received the information so this here is my test webhook 123 app this is the webhook url that we had created this is that name here we have the header then we have the subtitle this here is the text message and this here is the contact card basically that we have created and here is the button and as you click on this particular button then you will be redirected to the login page of jira account so this basically means that our integration is a success now let's check the same in real time so now i'm going to take you back to jira account and here i'm going to create another issue so here let's say the name of the project is this issue type is this then we have the email request again this has been assigned to admin so now this time the subject here is let's say the subject is new integration request and what is the body here this is to check the integration between jira software and google chat okay now i'm going to click on create as soon as this issue has been created then automatically our team should receive the message let's go and check the same and here you can see that yes we have received another message so this basically means our integration is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to public connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application is jira software 
where the event is configure webhooks. Then our action application is Google Chat Hangout where the event is to create custom card message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.